Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Gladius or Hammer 40k Relics of War. My name is Iken and today we're accompanying Captain um, Heronius, who is uh, trying to lead his brothers into a big, uh, almost unwinnable war against machines of terror. I've never seen these things, Castalian robots. They do have a twin heavy linked phosphor blaster. Holy shit. A lot of armor penetration. And combustors, which are good against infantry. They are very, very strong. 29 hit points. And we got three of them. That is not good. We, we literally just lost a few space marines or that we're trying to explore here well it is what it is you know what they say you can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs uh, we're going to leave the south alone for now at least that part of the south and i'm wondering i mean we could put another another fortress down here we could also put it here and then start um, going in from there hmm how do we deal with those monsters let's first of all go ahead I think it's a no regret move to put a fortress here there's a webway and even more important there is a castellian robot that we can shoot next turn in the meantime the remaining space marines are just trying to gather up whatever they do have available we're going to take our Assault Space Marines with us. They are supposed to be melee fighters, so let's hope that I'm not regretting to take them out. We got a second captain in production. Uh, that is all good, and we're producing the armory soon. All right, and turn. These robots are level five, so that's they are no joke. Let's see, what else can we produce? So armory would go into cluster mines. Uh, bikers, I assume they are from the armory, can use them to place cluster mines. We can have a mobile land speeder. I think we need that crack grenade. Or devastator marines against those heavier targets. Um, let's go with Devastator Marines for now, and then Fortress Expansion soon-ish. Oh, a couple of dogs have attacked us from behind. Look, 8.0 with our swords, and the grenades would almost eradicate them. That was a good hit. I like it. In the meantime... These guys are tough, very tough. Not sure if we can take them yet. Let's hit the webway. Eleven with a grenade. Yeah, the grenades are really good against low hit point targets. some more experience up here and you can see we can now level up which would either give us the power strike or extra damage or deeds of glory for more influence i will say that i would want to go into deeds of glory because i want more influence and if every single hero can carry their own weight that would be awesome
Okay, two influence per experience gained, which means he just needs to kill and kill a lot and we'll get a lot of experience out of that. Okay, so Reclusium, um, we, we had another new building, right? So we had our armory. I would say we're building that next down here. You can see it's being queued up. So that way we will have more different units. We're still having requisition uh, left over. So technically we can afford more units. Okay, I think we don't have the option to ignore them. Oh, there's another one. Hmm. Oh, and we're even, uh, they even deal damage to us. Oh, well, that's fantastic, isn't it? There's another one. Holy moly. Okay, these little doggos have fled again. But in all fairness, I think we need to deal with those massive robots. Let's build a chaplain. We definitely need more influence soon as all of those heroes are draining our influence. And our fortress still keeps the northern flank very safe and secure. We haven't um, scouted anything there. Sort of putting my eggs in that basket down here. Lots and lots of robots. Oh, wow. Oh, this guy is healing his robots. Ooh. That's bad. Okay, we need to focus fire. That guy is healed up again. I'm not even sure if we can win against these robots. They look ultra strong. Moves to here. Takes some damage, as you can see. We're not taking a lot of damage. And our melee attacks are good, so that's not bad. It's a bit of damage uh, reflection going on. These guys are incredibly tough. We focus fired and this guy is at 19 out of 26. Wow. Yes, way too many robots retreat here. We need to retreat. Let's go to here. Jetpack back.
Good. Let's shoot this guy. Maybe. Maybe we can get him down. I don't know if that would befriend any of uh, the robots. Can we heal at the end of the turn? No. It, healing consumes an action and movement. Okay, understood. So it's not easy to just heal. Well, we're not going to get uh, through all of the robots. We just need to accept that the south currently is a no-go zone. So this will be our front line. And we're instead going to expand here. Which is fine. Sometimes you simply need to accept things are the way they are. Let's get uh, one more assault space marine. And you can now see that with the upgraded uh, city we're at 7 out of 13 which is good. So we can house more uh, civilians and the city can grow even faster, which is good. For now, I think we're fine. North is safe and sound again. Yeah, this here is a problem. We definitely need to retreat with our with our um, base marines okay, we're soon going to lose so might as well destroy the webway gate if we can Get some more resources here, if even if that is only temporary. So we've moved. Can we heal after move? Oh yeah, we can heal after movement. That's good. That's fantastic, because typically you cannot heal when you have um, moved, which is why these guys have only moved but not healed. And there is way too much danger here. So move back. Okay, well, the south is lost, boys. I don't see how I can defeat that many robots. They are super strong. You might want to leave in the comments down below what exactly I've done wrong. Now found Chaos Cultists, and you know what they say. The corruption is rooted deeply. You gotta cut down the entire tree if the branches begin to fall. Wow, more robots. Okay. Good, more robots on this side as well. Good, time for Chaos Cultists to die some overwatch damage but uh, nine from the melee attack 12 from the grenades yeah let's teach them a lesson oh there's another rune nice nice Getting some experience for free. And with that also level up. I was hoping for that. And I would like to have Deeds of Glory again. Okay, cool. Need to heal. Definitely need to heal. And we're continuing to heal. Moving over.
Hmm, careful here. Can we... Can we use this? No valid targets. Blind grenade wouldn't work on them, apparently. Melee attack. There's no real retaliation, so might as well do that. Let's hope they are just moving back. Can't I can't defeat that army. Wow. We are getting jumped at by dozens of cultists. Are we being overrun? What is happening? Captain moves back and if the captain already is in danger or in trouble, then something is substantially wrong. Typically the captains are like ultra durable hardcore fighters we're fleeing because we have yet again been ambushed uh, let's hold and heal grenades to get these guys down the filth as, uh, as my marines rightly commented Okay, they are almost dead, which is why we're shooting them down now. Gives everybody a little bit of experience. Yeah, unfortunately that interrupts the healing process. In the meantime, we're moving down to here. And are battling off uh, that huge uh, robot. There is a data of mist down here. Those guys healed the robots, so I think, I assume they are allied with them. And it's not looking good. Definitely need another fortress of redemption soon. Maybe some somewhere here, so that both fortresses can align with fire, or to here so that both can align and fire. But this down here is total disaster. Good, we need more loyalty. Anything that does that? The reclusium, yep. Yeah. But that's about it. We need more loyalty in our cities. Another robot. I, I, that is... Unbelievable. Okay, we further need to retreat. And thankfully, we do have this healing surge. So we're getting back a little bit of the heat, uh, of the damage uh, that they have dealt. Good healing here as well. Just use that on cooldown, as we're currently tanking the front line here. some damage and then moves in retaliates with some more damage all right almost got them down reinforcements are soon going to arrive you can see we're building more space salt marines and the chaplain comes 
plus very soon our armory begins to uh, construct but we need more reclusium everything is going downhill at the moment i'm not even sure if it is uh, just the difficulty or if i've done a major mistake this looks like kind of an event that i spawned i'm not even sure what kind of event it is That. Now they are attacking the fortress. Five, six robots. Devastator Space Marines. Well, maybe that will turn the tides of uh, war. So, what does the chaplain have? Uh, rights of war, increased damage of chaplain and adjacent units by 10%, that's not bad. Restores the morale of units and adjacent allied units. Okay. And increases loyalty. Output of the fortress city. Well, we need loyalty at the moment, so here you go. Loyalty, plus four loyalty. And rights of war. Okay, cool. Moves down to here. Almost down. A little bit of experience for everyone. The guards here have level to level three. The level three guards here need healing. The assault marines need healing. Yeah, we need to meet up. Somehow deal with that stupidity down there. I can't just go in. It's not possible. Further reducing the hit points of one of them at least. Good, new research. We got Devastator uh, Space Marines. We want to expand our fortress, so that's a good idea. And we're being pushed in very, very hard, and we now need to make a stand here. A couple of hero units and a few Space Marines that really need healing. And the turn. Six robots. They do have two fields reach. So I'm not even sure how we want to deal with that. I can tell you we need another fortress here. Now that we've also lost our access down here to the Brox pit, that's not helpful either. Move up, heal, heal, chaplain moves in, and assault space marines move in. And then you still need to heal. Good, what else can we do? Uh, we need definitely more requisition. So let's start with that. It takes four more turns. And we could produce bikers. Question is, are they any good? I'd rather take heavy space marines at the moment.
good. Or at least our, the majority of our uh, troops are now healing. So moving up. Taking some overwatch, but luckily our front line is sturdy and can take it. Let's focus fire one of these guys. Good. We still need to heal. One more turn of healing here as well. Good. End of turn. Now they're all focusing their fire on our hero. Which is a problem. Moves back, and luckily we got that nice little healing charge. Next hero moves in. Moving to here. Uh, I want to give everybody here rights of war. Okay, this is a melee character, I see. This guy is just super tanky. At least the fortress is not immediately taking damage. Uh, we could fly over here. I'm not sure if that's a great idea. I think we better heal or continue to heal. fully focusing on one of them level five uh, enemy so let's see if we can tell the beast so it need more support here and we're going to fly over next turn resources are looking quite drained we need to kill these guys now losing space marines left and right all right let's get at least one of these guys down please Not sure if that's a smart idea. Free action, consumes movement. On the other hand, if we're not doing it, we're dead anyways. Takes a lot of damage, but doesn't die. However, now, finally, finally get some damage out of it. Level up here, these guys level to level 4, which is great, but we're all, they are almost dead. Good. 
moving into melee. We are trying to hold them back as good as uh, we can. Unfortunately, this is really, really, really tough. Only got one fortress here. I could use another one. Can we somehow draw them into the range of that fortress? Maybe, not sure. All right, end of turn. As expected, in order to kill these guys, we were kind of forced to sacrifice one of our space marines. It is a problem. One down, so many more to go. There is another one. I think we just need to treat the Marines as disposable assets against these Castellian robots. I have no idea what to think about that. A little bit low on hit points here. Going into the safety right there. Um, listen, at some point we need to heal. Six more turns until the, uh, the next fortress can be dropped. And I'm desperately trying to make my stand here. These one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not looking good, but it looks like a cliffhanger to me. If you enjoyed what you've seen, and if you want to press, uh, uh, cross the fingers and press your thumbs, knock on wood or whatever you do in order to support the Space Marines, then do that. Um, on your way out, try hitting the like button. And uh, yeah, it's not looking good. <laughs> not looking good at all. See you in the next episode, guys. Bye-bye.